Hello folks, Rob Dremeyer here. Welcome to Broadway Bar Fly. If you're a theater fan who loves a great cocktail, click that subscribe button because Broadway Bar Fly is the channel for you. I ordered a new prop for our videos and it arrived this week, so I wanted to show it to you. We now have a proper mixing glass, so we won't need to be uh, stirring our cocktails in our shaker any longer. Now, it's perfectly legitimate to stir cocktails in a shaker. Everything we stirred in here came out exactly as it was supposed to, but now we have a proper mixing glass for stirring, so uh, occasionally going forward we'll be using this instead. And it got me to thinking this is a good opportunity to discuss the differences between stirring and shaking and when you should choose to do each. The first thing to keep in mind are your ingredients. When you're making cocktails that are only alcohol, Manhattans, martinis, things like that, those are drinks that you typically stir because those ingredients have similar enough consistencies that it doesn't take a lot of agitation to combine them. However, when you're making cocktails combining alcohol with non-alcoholic ingredients, when it calls for fruit juices or syrups or sweeteners, things like that, the consistencies of those ingredients are different enough that they really do take shaking and a lot of agitation in order to get them to combine thoroughly. Something else you want to keep in mind is dilution, because whether you're stirring or shaking, you're going to be using ice primarily to chill the drink, but you will also be adding water to it as well. So if you're making a drink that's all alcohol, especially if you're using premium spirits, you want to keep the dilution to a minimum, so you're going to want to stir. When you shake a cocktail, you are certainly making it colder, but you're also adding more of that icy water to the drink and you're making it more diluted. But there are some times when that's preferable. For example, if you're making a Cosmo, people love to see that strained out and have all those shiny shards of ice on top. Yes, the drink is more diluted, but most people consider that frosty appearance and texture an enhancement overall. Something else to keep in mind is when you want or need aeration, when you want air added to the drink. When that's the case, you have to shake the drink because that is how you add air to the drink and it's going to give a, a frothy, foamy consistency. You also need to consider aeration if you're using an ingredient like egg whites when we made the Pink Lady. That was a cocktail we actually had to shake twice, once to aerate the egg whites and make them all nice and foamy, and then we had to shake those egg whites into the cocktail as a whole. Now there are some exceptions to all of these principles to keep in mind as well. One exception would be when you're using carbonated mixers such as club soda or seltzer. Yes, they are non-alcoholic, but for obvious reasons, you don't want to be shaking a carbonated mixer. When you're using something like that, you typically shake the cocktail first, pour it in a glass, and then top it off with the uh, carbonated mixer and then just give it a stir. Another exception is when you're making a drink that's all alcohol, but one of those ingredients is a heavy syrupy liqueur or a cream-based liqueur. Uh, an example would be a chocolate martini. In that instance, the ingredients are gonna have a different enough consistency that they really do need to be shaken in order to get them to combine. A chocolate martini is also an example of where you might prefer aeration because a frothy texture will make a nice uh, enhancement to a chocolate martini. The other exception to keep in mind, and probably the most important, is personal preference. James Bond famously orders his martinis shaken, not stirred, which completely goes against everything that we've just discussed. But there's every reason in the world that you should be making James Bond or your guests or you, your cocktails, exactly as you enjoy them the most. So keep watch for future Broadway Barfly videos and pretty soon we're going to be stirring cocktails in this bad boy. Cheers. If you enjoyed the video, why not give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends? Feel free to leave your comments and click that subscribe button because there's a lot more Broadway Barfly to come.